Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's episode of Adapting the Outdoors. I'm just doing a quick intro real quick. Uh, you're going to get a two-for-one video. Uh, the first video is going to be a small clip, or a series of small clips, from a fishing trip that I did at a private pond owned by the landowner where I'll be deer hunting this year. The second video is a fishing trip I took with my buddy Joe and his three kids. So stay tuned guys, I hope this is a good video for you and I think you're going to be excited about what we catch. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Adapting the Outdoors. I am actually at a private pond. My buddy Joe, it's on his land and we've done pretty decent so far. That's for an hour and a half, almost two hours of work. And uh, I just didn't have the camera turned on, and I kind of regret it now, but that's okay. So I am going to take these home and going to fillet up some fish, and then hopefully, crap, I'm stuck. <laughs> hopefully, in a couple out or a couple days, I will have another fish fry. So, yep. Right. What Blue do you got gill. on? The bluegill. Nice gill. Wow. Wow. It has, it looks. What do you think? Daddy, look at these huge, huge fish. That's not bad at all. No, that's a fatty. Good job. You got those pliers? Yeah, uh, yep. Hadley's got them for you. Thank you, ma'am. Good job. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, guys, there's, there's yeah. what that one looks like. <laughs> That's about a, That's say what, about a half pound? Yeah. About a half pound fish. It tastes good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that be one. real good. Get ready. Get ready. Set the hook and reel up. Set the hook and reel up. Reel. <laughs> yeah, but you got to pull the hook. No, it's probably too late. No, right. Yo, you got him. You got him. Yeah, fight him. Pull him all the way up over those rocks. Yeah, oh, boy, Paxton. Hold him up. Hold him up high. Yeah, a boy. Hey, look at that monster. Do you need help, Daddy, can you use this one? Watch <laughs> it. You're going everywhere. Good job. Whoa. Oh, that'd be real. Okay, keep him over in the grass, okay? Daddy, all right, good job, buddy. One? Give me a thumbs up for the camera. All right. Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Adapting the Outdoors. I am at a private pond with my little brother Trey in the background. You guys haven't seen him in quite a minute. It's been at least five years since he's been on the channel. Maybe even longer. We, Like I said, we are out at a private pond uh, bluegill fishing. And catching just about everything but bluegill. <laughs> I caught a pretty decent catfish and then a pretty nice red ear. And then just a couple small bluegill. But uh, stay tuned and hopefully we'll catch something. Oh my god. What the crap did I hook into? Holy crap. I think it's a turtle. Oh! Trey, so this is what you're talking about? He throws it out and catches him? Yeah. I ain't big enough to eat. No. <laughs> He's gonna eat it. That went into his eyeball. Look. No, it didn't. He's hungry. It's right next to his eyeball. Yeah, that's the fish that was on the bottom. Y'all thought it was dead. See, Lou, he ain't dead. I hate catfish. Mm -hmm. What if it's gonna. Is it going to. It's gonna jump up and bite your brother. <laughs> no, that's. Oh! How many fish have you caught in? That one's still swimming. The other oh, one's down on the ground. Nate. What, Mom? Look at Paul. That's going. Oh. Not there. Nate. Why didn't you tell me there were snakes? How many fish did you catch? Sorry. Your brother might 
my dog who get my dog. Push it in and now it'll tighten it. Fine, you'll be fine. Is it tightening? Catch. No. Might be stripped. Is this in that bucket, bro? Look me. I think it is. No, it's not stripped. It's just not. Wow. You'll have to look at it. Bring it I'll do it. I'll wait. say give it to mom. She knows okay. just as much as I do. Are there three fish in there now? In that bucket? And is that one dead out there for you to Happy! Oh, Happy! You want it? You want it? You want it? Go get it! We used to have it. Go get it! I don't know where it went. You have to say fed. We made a mistake and left it at 629 and it was gone in no time. Hello. Hello. I'm Miss Patty. Dad! Mom! He's so like you! That's what he does! He left you, Ben, and he left me. Paul, you want me to turn the van off? Guess what he does when you rub his belly? Come here. Mommy, Come you here. Right now, I'm going to touch the wheel. One of the wheels. Come here. Dink fest. Come here. Okay, this is a big one. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. It's a catfish, ain't it? Yep. <laughs> Careful. Another friggin' catfish. Catfish bite more at night, don't they? Ooh. Yeah, go ahead, flop around. Give yourself head trauma, stupid. Woo! All right, guys. Well, I'm running out of daylight to run the camera, so I'm gonna cut it off here. Um, and the next time you see me, I will be back at the uh, studio. Well, guys, that's about all the time I have for you on today's show. Before we go, I want to thank my buddy Joe and his wife, Joe, and their kids, Paxton, Hadley, and their oldest, Olivia. You guys made that day awesome. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys, and you guys made me laugh so much. Thank you, and... Uh, I'm sorry the video is just now being put out, guys, but it's taken me quite a while to do some editing. So, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Also, in the description box, check out my social media sites as well as my sponsor social media sites and their, their websites. Well, guys, like I said, that's about all I have for you. Um, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week right here on Adapting the Outdoors.